engineer Chris Dunn believes the answer can be found by further examination of the shafts in what some call the Queen's Chamber, where traces of zinc and hydrochloric acid have been discovered. I believe the chemical coming in through the northern shaft was hydrated zinc, and the other chemical coming through the southern shaft and into the chamber was dilute hydrochloric acid. These are actually seen on the chamber walls. Dunn suggests that the two chemicals were poured down through the shafts and then mixed together inside the Queen's Chamber, triggering combustion. This vessel represents the Queen's Chamber. Into the tubes, we're going to pour hydrated zinc and then hydrochloric acid. When you bring these two liquids together, then a chemical reaction occurs, and a product of that chemical reaction is hydrogen. And you can see the vapor, the hydrogen, escaping through the chimney. And there you have the reaction. Dunn speculates that the hydrogen gas traveled from the Queen's Chamber into the King's Chamber. Then, the vibrations from the subterranean pool energized the hydrogen atoms into a microwave energy beam. The evidence that indicates the use of hydrogen can be found in the King's Chamber. There is a shaft in the King's Chamber has dimensions of 8.4 by 4.8, which would be suitable for a waveguide for a maser or microwave amplification through stimulated emission radiation. And from there, we can actually propose many different ideas of what they did with it. 